Welcome back, Will Robinson here from Robinson's Auto Tools and Time .com. Today in the shop we have this 2015 Ford F350 Lariat Super Duty with a 6.7 diesel. Has two codes in it. We're going to trace them both down. The first initial code we're going to go after is the P20BD. P20BD. Reductant heater B. Control circuit open. Okay, we're going to look at a schematic because on this one I've actually did a little bit of research. Sometimes the wrong heater is replaced and then they'll, they'll do this job and the code will still be there because there is two heaters. There's one in the tank and there's a line heater for the DEF fluid injection line. BD, P20 BD refers to heater B. So we're going to go in there and see which one is designated as heater B. I believe it's the line heater and then we're going to dive down there. We're going to do some tests and uh, confirm the issue and take it from there. Once I pulled up some service data and a wiring schematic, I confirmed that there is two heaters in this system. There's a reductant heater located in the sensor assembly and that's in the tank. And then there's a reductant pressure line heater assembly. This one's in the pressure line. We weren't getting a code for the heater in the tank. I confirmed that our P20BD is the pressure line and that's showing an open circuit. So we could get down there and we could confirm this by doing a resistance check on that heater because it should be continuous. It should be current carrying and essentially there's a few different ways that we could go about checking this. If we monitor some live data on a scanner, however, I know a lot of us are not going to have this equipment. So we're going to get down there with a DVOM and we're going to test it out. Okay, guys, I'm under the truck from the passenger side looking over the drive shaft. See, we have your fuel tank towards the front. Then you come back and this is the DEF tank, the smaller tank in the back. See the three bolts right there? And then you see that white plug up top? We could do most of our testing from that plug. However, the customer stated that someone's already been in here and there was a heater replaced. And he said it was a pretty expensive job, so I'm assuming it was the tank heater um, because the, the line doesn't look that old. Or it looks old, I mean. And I'll show you, I'll show you more later. And then if you come around the back here, like I said, you got these bolts here. Come around the back, you got two more right there. Sneak around over here. And if you look up, it's hard to see, but you have one more between that channel. So we're gonna take and we're gonna lower this tank just to see what all was done up there and to test this, this line. All right, to make this easier, take and remove this cap and then remove these three seven millimeter screws and then you can lower the tube with the tank. Your electrical connection, take off this one 13 millimeter bolt that's towards the front by the dry shaft, move to the back, remove these two retaining bolts on the back side. Here's a better shot on the side of the vehicle. And then there's one on the side towards the frame rail. It's located in between those like two channels. Is that? It's a little hidden there, but it's not too hard. You guys a better view. It's much easier for me to remove the tank and uh, give you a shot of this injection line, as they call it, and that's the heater. So we're going to take a quick resistance check of that um, to unplug it from the tank. It's a pretty straightforward. You just push these two tabs and, and pull it out. You see, pretty straightforward. And this line will run all the way up into the injector and we'll get a shot of that here shortly. I believe on this one you should have anywhere from three to five ohms on that heater. And as you see, I have nothing and I do have a good connection. So we'll compare this to a new one. All right, we got a new OEM replacement. Essentially a couple hundred dollars later and here we are. All right, let's test a new one. As you've seen, the other one just said OL, and I could get that again and verify it now inside of the vehicle. But I believe this is supposed to be anywhere from two to five ohms or something like that. I could look it back up. All 
Yeah, it looks like we got about 4.1 ohms. And that's an open circuit, just like the code said. Removing a line is going to be pretty straightforward. You'll have a bunch of retaining clips going down the chassis. You just follow it along. It's got a bunch of these retaining clips all the way down. And then it'll go up and around. All right, if you come on this side of the exhaust, you get a much better shot where it goes to the injector. And you can see it has this like little heat shield. This has a snap. You can snap it. Take it off. Then you have these two little pla plastic tabs like you had on the back side that you have to push in each side and then lift up. You don't really want to use a tool on these because they're they're brittle and you don't want to, you really don't want to break anything. All right, then it's just a matter of taking any other retaining clips off it and uh, undoing it all down the chassis and putting a new hose on. That's one. You can wiggle them, get behind it with a pair of cutting pliers or dikes. It works really good or having the right tool for the job. You just get behind there and squeeze it. All right, I'll we'll just work our way down. All right, we got the new hose plugged back into the injector. It's going around, comes around the frame. Runs down, up, and around, up, and over, around. Now we just gotta put the tank bag up. It's hard to see, but we're getting ready to lift that tank up. If you follow the hose, we're gonna have to feed it up through the frame, through, through that hole where it came out of last time. And then if you took it down, it's going to go up in the same manner. All right, tanks back up in place. All four retaining bolts are in and tight. Don't forget about this one that's hidden up out of the way. Come up top, make sure your electrical connections are all plugged in. Our reducting heater line is plugged back in, safe and secure. Move up top. Tighten up your filler neck. That should take care of our P20BD. And now we're going to move on to the P026A, and you're not going to want to miss this one.